the Alamo Draft House Cinema. The phone started ringing at the Alamo within moments of the announcement by the Austin-based owner of the small chain of theaters. Tim League tweeted under the hashtag victory. You want us to assassinate the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? The movie drew outrage in North Korea, a massive hack on Sony Pictures, and threats of mayhem if it was released. But after the on again, off again, on again release, star and co director Seth Rogen tweeted The people have spoken. Freedom has prevailed. For the Alamo, it may be a gutsy move. I love coming to the Alamo for, for the beer and the food and no concerns about these crazy threats. No concerns whatsoever. The Kramers, who had just finished taking their three girls to a night at the museum, like the had mixed reactions yeah. to the news the that the interview is coming to their favorite theater. I think there's enough other theaters in the area that we could go to, um, especially if we're taking our three girls with us. You'd be a little bit nervous about those threats. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Not take the kids. I just think, you know, better be safe than sorry. And the Kramers were not alone. I think some people will be nervous about it. Uh, you know, I don't know if everybody, if everybody will attend just because I know there have been like threats. But so many people are trying to get tickets that the first showing is sold out and the theater's website has been all but overwhelmed by demand. I'm, I'm going to tell my wife to come out and go see it just to support, you know, Americans and free speech and everything like that. So. 10.20 p.m. on Christmas Day. Oh, hey, that sounds like a, a nice getaway from the kids.